Sup people, I oh, happen to catch him, don't mind me, I almost tripped. Welcome back, I know it's been a long, 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 long time <laughs> of, um, <laughs> since we last did it. My hair's even turned blonde, as you can tell, since the last time we uploaded a video. Uh, the reason being, I've got a job and really cooking is few and far between for me nowadays, so I have to make do, and we weren't going to leave it forever, so I thought I'd cook tonight for this, the 21st and final episode of Heaven's Kitchen. Now, what I'm cooking tonight, one sec, pasta. Again, I made a promise I would never cook pasta again. Then why the hell is there pasta in front of me? Why is this, at the end of the season, I've suddenly reverted to my old ways and started cooking pasta again? I'm so ashamed of myself. You know what? You know, screw this. I'm... Tim, Tim, oh, there you are. You know what? I'm not cooking pasta. I'm sick of cooking pasta. You can cook it tonight. Yeah. I made a promise to the viewers. And that promise shall never be broken. So this is the final episode of season one, but Tim is cooking. Mainly because it is his night to cook. I should have said that. Damn, it doesn't matter. The cat's out of the bag now. I will stay here for the duration, because if I left, it would be a silent video around 20 minutes long, and no one wants to watch that. So instead, I'm going to be providing perfectly timed commentary over Tim. Over Tim's cooking. It's how quickly he cooks. He's got the... Got the heat on to, to max. What the hell are you trying to do? Burn this place to the ground. Are you, are you trying to burn this place? No. The, the, the heat's on max. I know then, I'm not stupid. Okay. Do it faster. This is how Tim cooks, ladies and gentlemen. With extreme amounts of heat. Imagine if he did like some survival show, like Bear Grylls style or something like that, or remakes or something like that. Has to fell out back. Oh, just drop it on the floor then, why don't you? I'm just going to call the fire brigade just in case. I just dialed 999, but no, they don't know that. Oh, hello, fire brigade in England. <laughs> yes, it is me, an English person, yes. Uh, just a precaution, my dear sir. Over here in Roseville, Australia, um, in case a house burns down, um, I would recommend you get all your services here pronto, because Someone's cooking with the gas on the highest temperature. If it was to be any higher, the thing would be a Bunsen burner. So, chop chop and get here as quick as you can. <laughs> Toodaloo. And... Just precautions, people. Just precautions. If any of you watching happen to be a fire inspector, fire inspector? That would be a weird job, wouldn't it? Oh, it'll, uh, it'll be a weird job, isn't it? Yep, I'm the fire inspector. That fire looks good. That's my job done. That's another 40 bucks in the pocket. Who's next? Fire services people watching this. Just take note as that kitchen slowly becomes engulfed in a gigantic blue flame. Tim's getting dirty cutlery. You better use that one. Yes, but I don't think you want to use dirty cutlery. Yeah. I thought you were going to put that spoon on the table for someone. <laughs> Pasta's cooking nicely, as it should be. Thing in the past now. 
Ooh. Leaflets. Free roof inspection. Who needs that? Honestly, who is going to look at this and go, you know what, I think my roof does need inspecting. It doesn't get looked at often. <laughs> I mean, if there's a problem with the roof and, it's, and you need an inspection, you probably need to move house. I don't think no person wants to be paid. I mean, it's easy money, I suppose, but it's a waste of their time to go around to someone's house who has a perfectly fine, functional roof, climb on top of it and look at it, and one second later climb back down the ladder and go, well, that was a waste of time. There's nothing wrong with it. I bet you they probably take a hammer and bash a few dents in the roof just to make something wrong with it. It's going up the roof, nothing's there. That's me pretending to have a hammer. I'm not having an aggressive wank right now. Yeah, there's a few holes in your roof, madam. Uh, it's going to cost you, I'm afraid. So <clears throat> I'm stirring the pasta. It already looks overcooked. That's the funny thing. Huh? It isn't overcooked. You sure? Well, you can feel the hit. Not with my hand, obviously. Use the special fork. What? Yes. We have a special fork. Yes. For tasting pasta, apparently. Yes. 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 Oh my god, that's right to a pan in my mouth. <laughs> that was rock solid, that. <laughs> A special fork for tasting pasta, now I've heard it all. There it is, people, the pasta fork. Don't you dare take any other fork to taste pasta in this house. Or you'll be out. Well, it's for tasting things, not pasta. Alright, fine. I'm going to take this time to address something. Tim, you know there's a lot of idiots in this world. I'm not talking about Wahi. <laughs> Tim, you know there's a lot of idiots in this world who do stupid things for attention, like publicity stunts and stuff like that. Yeah. Like there apparently was this one person who chopped his own dick off because he couldn't, because he didn't, I mean, he chopped his own dick off because he didn't want, he, he was a gay guy who wanted the sex change supposedly. But instead of going to the hospital, he did it DIY style. <laughs> Uh, imagine a DVD, right? Your DVDs with DIY with kitchen maintenance and house maintenance. Imagine if someone came out with DIY, giving yourself your own vasectomy. That's not the same as getting sex change. Like, DIY, your own sex change. Now, I like to use these pliers, get a good grip on the phallus, you know, get a good grip on the shaft. And what you want to do, make sure you got them painkillers because it's going to hurt. You want to give it some one big yank like that. And then ease it off. If you have a, if you have a good knife, good sharp knife, it's good to get slice it in there, you know. Just get in. You yank and slice, yank and slice, yank and slice, yank and slice. Kind of like a really aggressive way of masturbating in another what sense. <clears throat> yank and slice, yank and slice, yank and until it's basically fallen off. Now, a good a good thing is basically y'all wanna y'all. If you, if you don't know what to do with your dick after it's gone, give it to your pet dog or something. They, they have quite a taste for that type of meat. <laughs> and once it's gone, all you want to do is get your sewing kit. You want to stitch it up nice and well. And um, after time, you can pull the stitches out. A little slip and voila, you got yourself your own vagina. <laughs> that would be the, <laughs> the worst line of DIY homemade videos ever. It'd basically be like, it'd basically be like carpenter porn. <laughs> like a really disgusting line of videos that would be. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's, but that's not the stupid, no that's pretty stupid. But the one which catches me up the most is that some guy Probably some American stereotype of boy. I'll wait for Tim to come well, back well, down. Well, he'll okay, the expenses, but it's a bit No, I'll wait for Tim to come back down. Is this one person who um, apparently, this one guy, shoved a bottle up his ass and had a severe problem, as you could obviously guess. Now, I don't get where their mindset's going, even if they are drunk. I mean, there are these people who probably go around at frat boy parties, no stereotype, I'm just assuming here, because I don't know the full story, I only know bits of it, some friend told me, but 
<clears throat> probably some friend goes, oh, dude, I dare you to shove, a sho I dare you to shove that f***ing bottle up your ass. And then we go, okay, I think something amazing is going to happen, so I'll definitely do it. It's good in there, it's in there tight. Yo, and about like, what, a week or so later, I put the dogs in the office. Sir, I'm afraid you have a terrible problem with a bar glass bottle lodged in your rectum. And they go, dude, that was one sick ass frat party last week. I got laid seven times, man. <laughs> Maybe that's not how it completely went down, but this is a true story. Someone shoved a bottle up their ass. What the hell are they thinking going into this? What, what, do you, what do they think is going to happen when they do that? Do they think, oh, if I shove a bottle up my ass, I think I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have rainbow colored <laughs> Hardly. You're going to have red colored You're going to be dyed in blood. Yes, sir. And then you're probably going to faint and die of blood loss, so it's your own funeral. Yeah? Yeah, you want to test the pasta again? Testing the pasta. Legendary pasta fork. This, this looks ready. Let's just see. Not quite. We've got a bit of a crunch to it. Big express video. So yeah. Whoa. I don't know why people do that. Shove a bottle up your ass. That sounds like a great thing. People are such Oh, well, since for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, but that, that's not in the raw vision. At least it's a shoddy screen here. It's just really difficult to get it all deal for the rest. Mm-hmm. We'll probably have to do it fairly late or even tomorrow, because I've really got to work on this garage. I'm thinking I'll do it for hours as Danny Chan. But I'm not too far from finishing anything, so. Seeing as the end of the season, I'll take the time to say in advance before the end, because Tim has been rambling on in the end. <laughs> Cheers everyone for I'll go closer to the camera, please. Cheers everyone for watching us in this season one of Heaven's Kitchen. It's been amazing, we've had great fun. Oh my god, it's 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Quickly finish off the outro. Okay, it's been great fun, and as I said again, pleasure for having a pleasure for watching us, so on, and um, take care, and we'll see you hopefully if there is one in season two. This has been Chester Brown and Jim Bolson. Thanks. Saying goodbye for season one of Heaven's Kitchen, and thanks a lot for staying with us and watching. If you did. Bye.